Hello guys, welcome to Pemberton Gaming World. Today I've got a tutorial for you. And this is a much requested tutorial in how to create Rocky Balboa. Um, I'm going to show you not all of the process, but a lot of it's self-explanatory that I don't need to show you anyway. So this is the image that I've arrived at, the most successful one I've had so far. Uh, notice at the bottom of the screen there, www.morthing.com. Now let's go to that website. Here we go. Now, what it, when you go to this uh, website, you upload an image um, and then just follow the on-screen instructions with the little pointers you've got to put on the face and then just upload another image. You've got this one and we've got this one. Now, this one on its own looks like a good image. It's perfect. It's straight facing forward and whatnot, but it turns out shit. And it's the same with this one. So I thought we'll put the two together to get that and uh, that's it there all right now the only trouble with this website is the images are too small for game face so you've got to resize them in paint click on resize by default the maintain aspect ratio is always checked so i've gone from 300 to 700 and then the it goes to 700 by 933 basically when you when you resize it let's go to properties as you can see there, dimension 700 by 933. All right, so it's 700, 933, okay. But uh, I always go with around about 700. If anything's like, say let's like it's 297 or 397, I'll change it to 797. So there's another tip for you if you wanna create a successful game face. Right, so there's game face. And this is how it's coming to the game. You notice his eyes are massive. The reason for that is, let's go to the eyes. The eye size is uh, full. And the reason why I've done that is because when you import the normal eye size, even though it look, may look normal here, in the game, the eyes are shit. They just turn out too small. And there's not, not much you can do with them, even when you go to the shape button and increase it to all the way. So increase it all the way on here. And then it'll, it'll, when you import it into the game, here he is, Mr. Balboa, not showing him yet. <laughs> when you import him into the game, you've got more scope to um, manipulate his eyes, the shape and the size and everything. But anyway, let's make this full screen. Uh, is there anything I've left out? Oh, before, before I do say anything more, the face, when you go to the, the um, template shape, the oval, make sure it's, it's so obvious what you do. Sense of the eyes, even though the eyes might turn in, even if you use an image where the, image, the eyes are turned to the left or the right, just try and center the little dot as much as you can. Side, very side of the nostrils for the nose, up here, the top of the cheeks, there, there. The jowl, always make sure your pointer is below the level of the mouth, otherwise it is, his face is all distorted a lot of the time. And obviously bottom of the chin there. And make sure the oval just covering as much face as you can, but don't overlap. Don't leave it so there's a gap here. Um, but uh, the bottom of the oval is in line with the bottom of the chin, right? So it's quite self-explanatory there. I don't, shouldn't need to show you. You know, I'm no genius. But anyway, that's my version of Rocky in the game, in game face, I should say. But this is what it looks like in the game. Let's make this full screen. This is OBS. I always record my gameplays with OBS, but the capture card I've got is a Magewell 4K capture card and I have to use independent software because it doesn't come with its own. But as you notice at the top of the screen there, it's reshade. Now if I press um, F9 to record the screen like I'm doing now, I could add reshade and then it will record it, but OBS won't. But that's another matter that. So you imagine console gameplay uh, being enhanced with um, reshade, you can do it. Anyway, let's turn them around. Da, 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 da. I've given him slightly lighter eyes and uh, the most important part sculpts the protrusion is zero z -z -z zero <laughs> the size is 35 uh, protrusion of the brow is zero the eyes is symmetry is 73 separation 40 depth 100 so it brings the eyes the eyes were too sunken in to the head so I brought them out by changing the depth. The shape has gone down to 15 and the tilt 
which is important because he does have downward tilting eyes from the outside, is 75. I mean, if, if I'm going too quick for you, just, just pause the video. That's all I have to do. I'll come back to it. The nose, the protrusion has gone down to 31. And I've not changed anything else. This is up to you. This is this is at your discretion. If you want, to, if you think you can get them looking even better than this one, then you know mess about with these settings. But these are just a guide. Thirty-seven for the chin, for the protrusion. The mouth, the protrusion's gone to zero. The bites is thirty-one. Corners thirty-four, just to make them his mouth, you know, edge downward a little bit, like it, like his real mouth does. Lips have stayed the same, and that's it. Rocky Balboa. Now he's 178 in height, or 5 foot 10, and uh, I've given him a very low weight because he's, he's not really a heavyweight, is he? But you have to have heavyweight for this body style, which is my favourite body style. I mean, in UFC 2, you could have that body style on most fighters, you know, most weight, it's weight classes. But in this game, it's restricted to heavyweight only, which I don't understand why they've done that. You know, they put some silly restrictions on there. If you want to make him darker, um, head and body. This is what you do. Now, because he's a white fighter, it was a, it was a, it was a dark skinned guy like uh, Rocky, uh, sorry, Apollo Greed, and he, he turned out too light. Then you just add a black shape, but with, with him being uh, browner than that, you just push right. Wait about seven seconds. Push up. So it's, you know, when you turn him round, he's completely covered. Looks like someone's put him in the oven, doesn't it? Let's just lower the opacity. Right, now that's Rocky Balboa, and he looks a little bit, little bit better there. Let's keep that colour. And what you have to do then is match up those colours on the arms. And then you do the legs, and there, that's Rocky Balboa done, done and dusted. Now, before I go, I hope that's been enough information for you, for you guys who wanted to see this guy getting created. Um, I want to show you a special creation that I'm really proud of. And, um, well, apart from my daughters, <laughs> they're real special to me. Um, let's save that. I'm going to show you my Bruce Lee creation. Now, Bruce Lee in the game, we all know he's in the game, he looks the part, but... He performs like a pissed up dick coming out of a club. <laughs> he's slow, he's some of his skips, kicks are really shit. Um, there's noises he makes in the game, you can tell it's someone else doing it. You know, it's not him. That's why I had Bruce Lee sound effects from Enter the Dragon in my Bruce Lee videos. Plus, I've got uh, this Bruce Lee against that Bruce Lee. That's the Game of Death version. If you want to see him, wait for the fight video to come out. Oh, and I've just got a message on my phone. Look at that, Hobbs and Statham. I have a video of them two kicking shit out of each other, but I've not got many views for that. I mean, look at that, they look exactly like who they're supposed to be. God, what's up with you guys? Anyway, Bruce Lee. Now, this guy moves fast, and he's, he's like a cat. Look at that. Enter the dragon scratches as well. Let's turn around. I'm really proud of the way this one's turned out and he's a lot of fun to use. So, you know, I've done a tutorial on creating him. So if you want to see that, I've got the video made, it's on my uh, computer right now. But uh, if you're not bothered about that and just want to see this guy fight, then uh, look forward to it anyway. Bruce Lee. Let's look at the tattoos. Now notice what I've done there to, to introduce a bit of bruising on his face and on his body. I've used um, that that little that image there, that red haze there, just to make it look like I, I could, I'm going to do little subtle blood drips down from the edges of scratches, but I think that that looks good enough, and I'm, I'm quite pleased the way it's turned out. Bruce Lee in the octagon, moving like he should. Anyway. Look forward to that fight and uh, I have to say I expect a lot of support on that video because Jesus it took me over a day to edit it because when the fighters come on screen the um, 
they come on screen authentically, if you know what I mean. So, in other words, the commenters, commentators say Bruce Lee, and you see all the Twitter accounts coming up on the screen and everything, like you do with regular fighters that are in the game. And to ask how I've done that, it'll take a lot of explaining, but uh, I've managed to do it anyway. You'll know what I mean when you watch it, watch it carefully. Because uh, normally if you make a fighter and his name's not really in the game, the commentators are not going to say his name, are they? But they do in this video. So anyway, that was how to create Rocky. And uh, look forward to my Bruce Lee video. Two Bruce Lee, Bruce Lee calves going at it. Thank you for watching, guys. And uh, see you in the next video.